Okay, well, we're all done with the killer instinct here. Um, I kind of told you I'd make some videos kind of leading up to this, but there's really nothing else to show. I bought a PCB, um, installed it in the game, works. The monitor's back in the game, looks great. New uh, marquee, uh, control panel overlay, Lexan, new joysticks, new player one and player two buttons, all new security screws. Um, I took all the buttons out these 12 buttons and thoroughly clean them and soak them. So it turned out pretty nice. Um, they look like brand new to be honest with you. Uh, installed some locks and some LEDs in the uh, coin door. And um, I, I decided against filling in these holes here uh, because I, I've never done such a hot job with them and it's a lot of work to fill them in and sand them down and get everything to match. So um, I figured if somebody else wants to do it, they can do it, but it really, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and if somebody actually wants to put this in an arcade for some reason, um, you know, it behooved them to put the security bars back on. So they're pre-drilled for you. Um, I mean, if, it, if it's the end of the world and the buyer of this game doesn't want it, I guess I could do it, and, but it's just a lot of extra work. The only real damage to this cabinet is on both sides of the control panel, there's these two holes here. One of them, unfortunately, is drilled right in the middle of the end for the Nintendo. And this one's up here. I masked off this entire portion here and sprayed it with uh, black matching spray paint to match the rest of the cabinet on both sides. Um, so that's really the only damage. Other than that, it's got a nice nice sheen finish to it. I clear coated over the top of it. Um, so that's not something you can really repair. I mean, I guess I could buy those decals from um, you know one of those online guys and go ahead and refinish that all over. But I don't like the way the decals come out on the control panels. They just, they don't look the same to me. And I don't really care for the decals tucking in over the top of the team holding and looking that way and, and honestly when you look at a game when you have it in your lineup you don't even see the sides all you see is the front so i mean the only thing you really see is this right here so again it's up to the person uh, that's going to buy this game whoever that may be um, to continue that or finish that but honestly in my opinion it looks fine i mean you could you could go and mess with it but for the amount of time and effort and money you put into it it's not worth it um, the side of the game, like I said, is in very nice shape. It's got those one, two, three, four little marks right there on the back of Spinal's rump there uh, from somebody using one of those click straps or something. I was going to touch those up, but again, I don't like to really touch these games up. Um, the reason I don't like to touch them up is because you, you can't really match up the paint as, as, as well as you think you can. And it, it, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you don't see the sides. Um, so this is going to go in a home where this is going to be the only game in your lineup and you're going to use it as an art piece or whatever it may be to display in your house you can take a sharpie or something or some black paint and kind of test the spot and if you like the way it looks just continue those four little spots but other than that like i said it, it looks pretty damn good um, the game plays perfect all the original harnesses are in here um, i got it locked up right now because i i uh, was moving it around and i don't like to have everything open so you can hit yourself in the head with like the back panel or whatever it may be. So everything's locked up in here and screwed in, but um, it turned out really nice. A lot better than I thought it would, especially with the black paint. You can go back to the original videos where I show you where I tested a small portion of the top up there and how nicely this came out. So this is all done. If somebody's interested in buying it, it's on eBay. I'll put the uh, eBay listing. I don't know if you can do that actually. I'll put the item number and you can just put that in the search bar on eBay and search for it. I put it up there for like $10.99.99 or best offer. So if somebody on YouTube wants it, just shoot me a good offer or something fair. Uh, I got a good amount of money invested into the parts and labor and repairs of this game, especially with the PCB, how expensive they, they tend to be. So that's it. Uh, we're all done with the Killer Instinct restoration once again. Um, another successful paint strip. And this game came out really nice. So it's ready for a new home.